Hi there, I'm Lisa Doyle with Rockoff Realtors and welcome to our How Is The Market Update. Here we are, now it's Friday, um, April 25th, and I wanted to give you an update as far as where we are so far in our East Bay market as of the first, we're a little past the first quarter of the year. And of course we've seen just a crazy, very active, very hot market the first part of this year. But I want to get you some stats. Um, and of course, when we say our East Bay, we're talking about the 58680 corridor, you know, Livermore into Pleasanton, and then all the way down to the 24 and the 680, um, encompassing, you know, Lafayette, Moraga, Arenda, and then all of the space in between. So Danville, San Ramon, and that part of the Central County, and then our Tri Valley as well. So a pretty, a pretty wide area that we like to study and keep you posted on. So right now, as far as our active inventory in this part of the East Bay, there's 891 active homes on the market. And if you guys remember back in like January of this year, as we've been studying the market every month, you know, throughout the last several years, in January we had the lowest amount of inventory that we've had in probably three or four years. There was less than 500 homes active in the market during that time. Right now, 891. So a slight increase in our inventory. There's 1,105 homes currently pending in that area which means we're still upside down as far as our active and pended ratios. More pended properties than actives obviously indicates a little bit hotter market, a little higher demand, and of course we've had pressure, um, upward pressure on our prices. But the interesting statistic that I thought that most people want to know right now is where are we versus last year? And you might be, it might be curious to hear that actually we've had fewer home sales this year than we have last year, but that kind of indicates again some upward pressure on prices. Last year, the first quarter of this year, we had 1,604 homes close escrow in our East Bay. This year so far, we've had 1,469. So again, you know, more sales happening um, last year than this year, fewer inventory, and of course, upward uh, pressure on prices. The biggest question that I've had from the last two or three months from everyone who wants to know is, where are we in relation to the peak of our market? So our market peaked, which is the top of the market, was about the end of 2005. Of course, we had a very significant de you know, decrease in prices between 2006 and 2011, about a 35% uh, decrease. Right now, we, were, we are almost back to the peak of our market in most areas. Not quite, but almost. Um, and one, one statistic that I thought most people would be curious to hear is one of the statistics that we track closely is also the number of homes that are on the market that, are, that fail to sell, which means they either expire during the time that they're listed or they're taken off the market unsuccessfully sold, which just basically means you know they were um, in a very hot market. They still were unable to find a qualified buyer. Last year, the first quarter of the year, there were 248 what we would call expired listings. You know those unsuccessful. This year so far, there were 302 uh, so far in the first quarter. So what that tells me is people say to me, okay, the market's hot. Anyone can sell their home. Every property sells. You can actually see, you know, 302 homes unsold, you know, that's almost what, you know, 20% of the properties that are listed have been unsuccessfully sold. So it's just a, a good thing for you to keep in mind that you do have to be strategic about how much exposure your property gets, and you do have to make sure that the property is positioned um, well with an agent who can expose the property and truly help you get it sold. But if you have any questions, of course, give me a call. My name is Lisa Doyle. My number is 925. 890-7443 and I look forward to seeing you soon.